Hey Cancerians, welcome back to the channel. Happy birthday. I'm Ana Eilina. We're going to tap into a general reading for you guys. See what messages spirit has for you. What needs to come through? What are we starting this Cancerian season off with? All right. What messages you need to hear most? Please do remember this is a general reading. Please take what resonates. If it resonates, I appreciate you guys and I pray that this reading will find you well. All right. Let's tap in. So sacrifices by Drake is playing in the background. Okay, he says something like, I'm convinced um, I've made sacrifices and I've been balling ever since. Okay, so some of you could have had some things that um, you really, they, they were really hard to let go of, but you noticed that once you let go of them, it you noticed that it was a blockage the entire time. Once you let it go, everything started to flow, shit started to come in for you, okay? Things you've been wanting to come in for a long time, all right? So don't sleep on all the sacrifices that you had to make for yourself, okay? And I'm hearing for others, some of you, maybe it's for your kids, okay? Listen, it says old habits that no longer serve need reviewing, okay? So for some of you, this was some, these were some things that maybe you liked, you know, you, you weren't necessarily, I guess, ready to let go of or didn't feel like it was necessary, um, which I guess made it all the more difficult. All right, so this is like taking a hard look at yourself, you know, some of some of the habits that maybe you partook in that, that were not serving you anymore, other people in your life, okay? Some of you there are specifically saying it was a job, Mother Mary with emotional healing, okay? Some of you cut your mama off, okay? It be like that. It do be like that sometimes, okay? Not because you're an asshole, you don't love okay but because you have to protect yourself okay some of you it was not that you cut your mom off but you did finally come to terms with something that maybe happened between you two or in your childhood yeah we got the star maiden here with rest okay yeah you've been doing a lot okay this is a lot this is a cycle a lot of cycles ending we have just entered into summer solstice too right and you mark that for us you are the zodiac sign that marks the summer solstice okay so we begin this summer solstice with your energy cancer very powerful very powerful Six of Swords in reverse, okay? The Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. That's what I thought that first card was, the Five of Swords, okay? So what I get here, some of y'all, y'all had to face something, okay? Six of Swords in reverse. You couldn't run away from it anymore. Five of Cups, Five of Swords. Fives are very sticky energy. It's like that in-between energy, quite literally, right? Fives like that midpoint. Um, it's like you couldn't run anymore from the disappointment of the betrayal, okay, that somebody... Um, somebody did to you, all right? Then we have the five of wands right behind that. That's our third five, 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 five okay? And the hermit card. Um, some of you, this could have been, because I'm hearing covert, so you could have found out, okay, that there was some type of betrayal, and instead of you running away from it or ignoring it, you know, you chose to stand in it and face it, whether that was you confronting somebody or, you know, just facing that truth and accepting it within your higher self. And I'm convinced I made sacrifices. I've been falling ever since. Yeah, they <laughs> keep playing that back. Okay, because if we just think about it like that, like, listen real quick. If we think about it like, uh, look at the chariot showing up on the bottom. That, like, say, for instance, let's just go with that. Like, you had to disconnect from your mom or distance yourself from your mom or a feminine energy that you really care about, right? That would be something that normally a lot of people would be like, oh, no, you don't do that. Like, blood's thicker than water and all of those other sayings that they use to try and, like, guilt us into staying into toxic connections or relationships, even if they are blood-bound, right? Um that that's what made that is what made this so difficult right because there was like this attachment to something okay um and just go with that example of the mother that makes a lot of sense right like that's like our first attach attachment that we create when we come into the world very powerful yeah the chariot the seven of cups okay
Yep, Ten of Pentacles. I knew it. I knew it. I was getting that Nine of Wands, the Three of Cups. You see, in the past, see, okay, people would be looking at you, especially family members, okay? People would be looking at you and seeing how well you have been taking care of yourself. And I'm hearing after trauma, okay? So this is like everybody could know about something that happened or just some bad blood between certain family members and, you know, including you. Um, and it's like people seeing you carry yourself so well, take care of yourself so well. How is cancer doing that? Why are they doing so good after everything that, you know, they went through, whatever. Um, yeah, nine of wands, three of cups. Some people started to feel left behind. Okay. As you're healing, okay. Moving on with your life. Some people start to get a little green eyed. Okay. Jealous. All right. Tell me about the eight of swords here. Thank you. The 10 of swords. Two of Swords and Page of Swords and see how they get you to stay stuck, okay, is by putting you in very confused energy, okay? Um, maybe even giving you like an ultimatum about something or this or that, or you're going to choose this over me or, you know, type of energy. Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, the devil and justice. This is what happens. You realize it. So for those of you Cancerians who this is not quite wrapped up yet, it's about to, Okay. Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords, you're about to see something for what it is. All that emotional manipulation and trying to get you to, you know, um, view things from this person's eyes or whoever we're talking about here, whether it's multiple family members or friends or people at a job, I don't know. But the devil, justice, you're about to see it clearly. Okay? You're about to see it for what it actually is. Okay. Um, for some of you, the old habit that is no longer needing, you know, that is being dropped is playing into people's like delusion. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of you, you knew what was up from the jump. But again, that attachment energy, right? Excuse me, can kind of have you like doubting things or pushing your intuition away. Like, no, nah, I can't be that. No, nah, they wouldn't do that. No, nah, no, nah. you know? And that's understandable, all right? Two of Pentacles in reverse, though. The confusion stops, period. Um, you being manipulated and pulled in all different types of directions, that's going to stop. That's going to stop with this clarity, whatever this clarity is about the past, if we can get more insight on that. I'm hearing for some of you, that might be, like, super, super personal, okay? So whatever we can get on that spirit. Thank you. The Seven of Swords, yeah. Some type of betrayal. The Fool, the Page of Pentacles, definitely about childhood with these energies, okay? All right, let's look at money, career, business. Okay. They will not let me uh, forget about that Drake song. <laughs> and I'm convinced. I'm going to sacrifice this. All right. Some of you could have been like between work or jobs here with the two of sports. Thank you. The lovers in reverse. Okay, five of pentacles, the three of cups. Some of you could have turned down a job, okay, this past Gemini season, like this past, past excuse me, month or so. Okay, or something that was going on in your love life was negatively affecting your work, okay, or how you make money. Okay, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords in reverse for, for I want to say for uh, a lot of you, something that you were going through romantically, okay, could have been affecting how you work, okay? King of Wands maybe acting a little erratically or impulsively. Okay, tell me what's going on. Thank you. The Seven of Cups. There is a little confusion here, though. In the present, the world, the Eight of Cups, perhaps some of you are thinking about wrapping up a cycle because we have the Wheel of Fortune here and the world. Some of you might be thinking about leaving a job or going to a different position. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here. Thank you. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles here. The Page of Swords. Hmm. Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, holy shit. If you guys have been looking for a new job or you're applied, applied for one, this Ace of Wands, Five of Wands, Page of Swords, you're going to be getting communication about it, okay? And I feel like a lot of you are going to be getting the uh, communication that you beat out the competition, okay? Ace of Wands, Five of Wands here, like, okay, you got it. It's going to you, all right? Um, some of you could be younger in your field, Okay, some of you could have a or someone who might contact you about it could be a uh, um, like a feminine energy. Okay, there could be a water sign. 
how I don't know if you would how you would know that <laughs> if you're asking unless you're asking people every day like hey what's your sign you know like if you're Cancer Pisces Scorpio or just kind of have those qualities. Page of Pentacles, be open to receive. Yeah, Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Be open to receive, all right? Let's look at a quick, uh, get a quick look at love. All right, Five of Swords, something you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be another Cancer, but I don't think so. Could be a Scorpio too. Okay. Definitely some betrayal here in love with the Five of Swords in the past though, so that's good. Knight of Swords in reverse. Feels like, yeah, the Sun, the King of Cups, feels like you just got the hell on. You didn't even feel like arguing with this person. They did it again and you're like, okay, that's it. Cue bye. <laughs> Let me tell you about the chariot. Okay, King of Wands, Five of Cups, the Chariot. I don't know if things are, okay, King of Cups and the Four of Wands here. Okay, something was overcome, okay, in the present moment as far as love. What is that? Thank you. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so... <laughs> Maybe if this is the same person, all right, maybe cooler heads prevailed, all right, and something was able to be overcome, all right, because with the Knight of Wands in reverse, I don't see anybody like leaving or anything like that, but tell me about this Four of Cups coming up in love. Seven of Pentacles, you will be thinking about what you really want, though. Yeah, Judgment, Ace of Wands, some of you could be getting a little bored, all right, um, in love, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're single, you're think you're gonna be thinking of ways to kind of spice up your love life. Okay. Um let's pull a couple kippers. Uh like the what you're doing. Y'all, y'all don't even know what kind of <laughs> songs I'll be having playing in the background. I listen to every freaking thing. All right, Rookie Thoughts Expectation here. I feel like you thought something wasn't gonna work out. It did or it will. Okay. Yeah, legal matters too. It it either it has already panned out and you realize, damn, I ain't had nothing to worry about, or it will. It's gonna work out. So stop. Okay. We have a death card here. Some of y'all are moving. Okay, congratulations. I actually know some Cancerians who are moving. So congrats out there, y'all. All right. Let's pull your last card, Cancers. What will it be? What will it be? Two. Oh, I love it. You have the last quarter moon in Sagittarius with practice gratitude. Yes. Thank your guides. Thank spirit for that new home, for the new blessings coming into your life. And look at this. The last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of it yourself honey all right yes happy birthday cancers i appreciate you i wish you all the best and i will catch you in the next one babies bye